everyone I'm Abdul Media with Luna Studios uh, and first of all thank you all guys for your support uh, and thank you all guys for 100 subscribers I'm really happy for it uh, and I'm looking forward to new milestone and uh, I made a giveaway video uh, about a motion graphic pack that I made so you can check out uh, uh, in the link uh, in the description or you can also check out uh, here and somewhere and I've been making this tutorial for too long uh, but uh, every time I try I face uh, a new problem so this is another try if it uh, uh, makes to the final upload uh, uh, that will be good so let's see what we're gonna create today uh, it's a teleportation effect here it is So here is uh, my footage, here is After Effect. I made a comp, uh, it's uh, my footage, it's about 37 uh, seconds long. So uh, let me just show you my first jump, here I go, here is the jump, here I go. So I'll just uh, uh, hit Control Shift and D so it will cut and duplicate the rest of the footage and uh, here is uh, me and let's just go to our next jump here it is our next jump so just select this one and hit control shift uh, plus D delete this one the middle one we don't need it and I also captured uh, this background plate so duplicate this footage and select the lower one right click time freeze frame place it beneath everything and stretch out so place it in the beginning place this one after the first jump and leave two frames between them so two frames will be empty to add that smoke I'm using the video copilot shockwave shockwave footages so I brought two of them shockwave 13 shockwave 14 uh, you can also use the smoke uh, uh, if you can don't have the shockwave pack uh, and the smoke link the smoke pack from video copilot and uh, the link will be in the description uh, it's free you can download it from there and uh, do whatever I'm doing with the shockwave you can also do the same thing with the uh, smoke pack too so this is the shockwave bring it here now it's 1080p go to the effect type in invert because I don't want uh, this white white shockwave and put it on the shockwave then so let's just multiply change it to multiply scale it down and put it on your So right here so it's pretty slow so uh, right click time enable time remapping and go to some point some good point like this one and make another keyframe and select the those two and bring it near the first one and also this a bit so it will give us a uh, blasting effect so shockwave will and the shockwave will uh, go to its normal point after the blast so it slows down so it's kind of cool so bring the other one to shockwave 14 right click time enable time remapping and make a keyframe somewhere in here bring those two like this this one also 
invert multiply and let's see scale it down just time both of them differently you can also duplicate this one rotate it scale it up so that gives a nice shape to it so another thing you can do is you can also change its color so I'll show that to you in the end select all of them Control shift uh, C to pre comp and whatever name you want to give shock wave so and then and go to the blending mode change it to multiply again so I'll just trim it here so I can know the starting point so go to the shockwave duplicate it in here so we can do whatever we want in here and place all of them in the center then go to this frame and drop the shockwave in here multiply it okay so it's somewhere in here yes here it is and now place it in here if you think you can also go and just rotate some of them so it doesn't look same as the other one so you can also play with the uh, opacity so change it to zero now and go one to three frames and change it back to hundred so it won't just this just go at single frame do same with here opacity change it to zero one two three and a hundred so that might give it a bit more good look so to change the color of the shockwave you can also go to uh, curves and drop it on the shockwave so it's the first one so we are looking at this one you can if you wanna make it a bit darker you can just play with the lower this contrasting and you can make it darker brighter so and if you want to change a color go to the specific color and do this thing so let's give it the azazel look is it like this thing copy the same thing on the other one and uh, if you want to change this color and uh, want something else in it you can also do it this one is it okay so uh, here is the effect so I'll just uh, color correct everything and uh, we'll see you there so I've pre comp uh, everything so I'll just scale it up uh, 110 or 105 
so this is perfect so I'll just uh, add some uh, digital movement to it so just go to P alt click the stopwatch type in wiggle open bracket uh, 1 comma 2 5 close bracket so then select the pre comp go to rotation R uh, alt click the stopwatch and type in wiggle open bracket 1 comma point 7 close bracket and here we go so we also have some movement now so here is the effect if you like this tutorial please leave a comment down below hit that like button hit the subscribe button for more upcoming tutorials and uh, uh, I really uh, love the way you are watching my videos uh, I wasn't expecting anything any of such kind of thing so uh, I will try my best to make a more good one make more advanced uh, tutorials for you guys so thanks for watching